You're here for test today? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever been tested before? No, I haven't. Okay, well. Do you have any questions? No, not at this time. I'm just okay. a little nervous at the moment. I can tell. I was going to ask you if you're okay. <laughs> Not really, huh? Not really. This is the longest 20 minutes of, of most people's life. Yes, it is. I think that they don't treat, you know, patients like patients. I think they, they, they look at more of the person. And that's hard to find at a doctor's office or, or a hospital nowadays. Usually clients are referred to us um, either through other providers or through our, our testing. And once um, they are diagnosed positive, uh, we do schedule them to come in for intake and that's where we introduce ourselves, just get them acclimated to the clinic and the ministry as a whole. And then just start the process of counseling them to just get them familiar and prepared for what's to come because it's, you know, it's a life changing event. So all we try to do at that point is to just be an ear and comfort them. So a lot of people will come in and say that they're HIV. And I like to say, no, you're not HIV, you're Nancy. The mission of the Ursuline Sisters HIV AIDS Ministry is to empower um, adults and children in the Youngstown community who are living with HIV AIDS and to collaborate within the community to provide them with what they need. We are located in Mahoning County and we primarily serve clients and patients from Mahoning County with a variety of services. We have three locations where we provide those services, but we also serve a large number of people from outside of Mahoning County, so Columbiana, Jefferson Counties, Trumbull County, and Eastern Pennsylvania. And primarily we serve those people from those outlying areas because there are no other resources for them. The Ursuline Sisters HIV AIDS Ministry consists of um, what we call our cafe, which is a monthly social support group and congregate meal. We have our um, HIV clinic. We have our children's program, which serves kids who are infected or affected in some way by HIV or AIDS. Oh, how's he look? Um, he looks excited. I would be excited too. And we also have pantries of uh, food and household products and personal hygiene products. And the most recent program within our ministry is our housing program, which provides services for HIV positive, homeless uh, individuals and families. The Peer Navigator program is a program um, that consists of patients at our clinic who um, have been identified through the staff as being individuals who are um, adherent to their medications, that are keeping their doctor's appointment, um, and that are willing to basically, in a sense, mentor um, newly diagnosed people or people who are struggling with their HIV diagnosis um, and their care. We're able to provide education to the larger community. Um, we're able to provide HIV testing within the community. Um, and I think that through our peer navigation program, we really are um, trying to make sure that we're getting people as healthy as possible within the community. One of the things that we're very proud of, particularly given the barriers that our patients have in the clinic, is our viral suppression rate. And for persons who work with uh, clients and patients of HIV, that's the holy grail, is getting that viral load suppressed. That determines their uh, ability to transmit the disease to other people. It determines everything about their own mortality. Um, and so I think from a public health standpoint, that's also very important. That's an important service that we're providing is trying to really limit the spread of HIV within the community. For a very long time, we were sitting in the 50s and 60% rate for viral expression. We're now at 81%, which is just a really big jump for us. And so we're really proud of that and the hard work that both our regular staff and our peer navigators have done to make that happen. One of the most important resources that we really um, have been very fortunate to have within our ministry is just such a core committed group of people. The same thing with the peer navigators. You know, the ones who are identified do such wonderful work within the community, um, obvi obviously um, without fanfare. Um, and so they just go in there and they do, do the job um, and they provide such compassionate, life-saving care for people.